Hey, it's Russ Hughes from the Expert site. I'm with Lee, Mr. Presonus. Hello. To some of us. Uh, he's got a new box of tricks. Lee, what do we have in your hand today? If you'll excuse the question. Uh, so this Ooh, is the... Uh, quite <laughs> This is the Quantum 4848, so it's the latest addition to our line of Thunderbolt interfaces. Uh, so you might have seen the Quantum and the Quantum 2, which is, you know, they've got some built-in preamps, and the smaller Quantum 2, which is our mobile version. This guy is more designed for, um, you know, using analog gear, maybe hooking up to your large format consoles and stuff like that. So this will give you 48 uh, I.O. On in a one U unit, but there's no jacks on it. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Somebody's going to look at that and say, "Where's all the connections?" Yeah, so lots of D subs on the back. So really, what you're doing here is you're using your D subs to connect direct to your patch bays or your desk. So basically, yeah. you know, in a big analog studio, they'd either go from this straight to their desk with that. So use D sub to D sub to desk, or this to the patch bays. Yeah, exactly. So it's a, it, this is a pro product. This it, is it really this is, is you saying st stamping firmly on the ground. This is for the <laughs> professionals using. We were in that studio last year, weren't we? In in in, in Newry, yeah, 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 in Ireland with the big SSL. This would be perfect Absolutely for perfect. A, a tracking studio. So I mean, it's one U. So you're getting 32, 32 analog in, thirty two analog out, plus you have sixteen IO on ADA as well. Right. So you know it's uh, twenty four bit, one nine two kilohertz. But um, the converters are real pro. You know they're one twenty dB dynamic range. So the audio quality is right up there. But you also get the option then to expand this box, so you can like use four quantums of any of the quantums you can connect together via daisy chain on oh, right. Thunderbolt. So you're saying, so if you want, if you did want some I/O on one of them, like conventional I/O, with like mm -hmm. two jacks on the front, you could have one of these exactly and a regular quantum. Yeah, or maybe use a quantum uh, two as your mobile device. Right. So then yeah. you bring it back to your studio, you plug it in, link it up, and you've got this you know massive I/O connected to this guy as well. And the quantum two, of course, you could then use as like your control room hardware couldn't you as well yeah so you could actually have this for all your kind of like really big stuff and then and then the quantum two for like as you say uh as say doing a control room and stuff like that exactly um or just use this by itself um you know so it's just one u though so much io and one u um so how do we get to control it okay so you plug this in and you've got universal control which we use with all of our products or all of our digital products so and if we've edited this video right that should now be appearing on the screen as you tell us there it is. There it is. Okay. By the magic of <laughs> video editing in Final Cut. So when you plug this into Universal Control, it shows up and it will tell you to, uh, you know, if you need firmware updates and stuff like that. Right. But you also get a, a panel which which uh, shows you your levels. So lots of metering. So on the front of the box, you've got metering, which is you know green, uh, orange, red. Yeah. That's for your inputs or your outputs. So you can select that from from within the software. Yeah. Um, or you can just use the the metering on the actual unit as a quick reference, you know, to see across the room, and you can. So that be like green and red, basically. Green, orange, red. Oh right. So you've got traffic light systems. Which, basically. So basically, yeah. you know if you're heading towards clipping before you do. Yeah. That's and you really can, helpful. Yeah, and you can change that from within the software then to to view your i your inputs or your outputs. So from the software, you can control the I/O, the, the 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 gain of each channel, or is it, or is it no. just, or is it just working at line level, or is it yeah, plus four exactly. and minus ten? So there's no preamps in this guy. So okay. really, what you're doing is you're yeah. using your exter external you. analog stuff, whether yeah. it be in your desk or your 500 series stuff. Okay. And that's all being hooked up directly or via patch bay. Okay. So at the uh, back, uh, yeah. We'll, sh we'll, we'll do a separate shot of this after rather than yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. grope your way into the camera lens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got your D subs IO. Yeah, exactly. And you got so. ADA IO. Yeah, uh, and that's can you mux those as well to get higher rates? Uh, yeah, so I mean you have sixteen uh, up to forty eight k. Yeah, and then it comes down to to eight with uh, ninety six. Ninety six, yeah, and then um, two. Uh, that's how helpful you've got a thunderbolt, two thunderbolts. Well, exactly. So this is for daisy chaining units. Yes. So it's really okay. simple. Everything shows up really clean. There's not much setup at all. You know, you, you plug it in and it works. Um, and from within the software, if you've got multiple units, you can actually press an indicator button that will turn this purple. Yes. And that shows you, let's say you've got four units connected. You which one you decide which one, which one. And you can decide in kind of what series they work. Okay. Um, obviously it works super well with Studio One, but it, it designs it's designed to work perfectly with all third party stuff. So other doors are available. <sighs> yes. As yeah. they say. Um and we've got some presets in there. So let's say your DAW is restricted to 32 in out. You, some are. Some are. You could use. Unfortunately. <laughs> you can use. We won't a, go there. You can use a setting that is. Um, it's one setting that allows for 16 of the analog plus 16 ADAT, or maybe 24 
four plus eight. Or Let's be blunt. It's the Pro Tools session. Uh, moving on swiftly. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. <laughs> but it is. If, so they don't. People don't get lulled into a full sense of security. <laughs> but it's like all the all the other doors. But yeah, there's not there's not a lot going on here really. In but there's terms word of, clock as well. Word clock as well. So yes, yeah, so you you know you can clock so, your units together. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and you've got uh, your sample rate selection indicator on the front here as well. So, and then you do that within UC, or do you do that within exactly, the, or do you do that within uh, the door of choice? Door. Yeah, door of choice as well. Okay, so um, we talked about all the all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, uh, what's the price point of this? Because I'm guessing at this kind of quality, you're talking what what fifteen hundred dollars so, or something? Well, exactly. Like so, uh, for the price, it's uh, around fifteen hundred dollars at release. Um, but it also comes with Studio One Professional. Wow. So that's that comes so three hundred dollar piece. Well, nearly four hundred dollars no, free and stuff. Yeah, okay, absolutely cool. So again, if you use it integrated with Studio One, it becomes this really tight, fast system. Yeah, yeah. Um, particularly using Pipeline XT. I was going to mention Pipeline because yeah. Pipeline is this is always this is almost like Pipeline was made for this. Yeah, I mean because I don't know, it's, it, and it's got a real good boost in in version four that Pipeline now kind of is 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 has come of age. Yeah. So it's got its auto auto pinging. Yeah, you did a great video on, on this already. It's Thank got you. A, it is good. Um it shows the auto lineup. So you just yeah. press a button, it lines everything up. Pings it and gets you gets your latency, your round trip latency exactly. figured out. But also cool things with notes and being able to take a picture of your uh, yeah. log gear and actually load that up in a preset. That was a great idea. I don't know how you got that. Uh, yeah, it was really really it was good. Like it, was somebody, it was like somebody had already already made that yeah. before. <laughs> yeah. But I um, mentioned any names. When, when you think about it though, you can actually have um your IO hardware to your analog gear. Yes. And you can pull up your Analog gear as a preset. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I love about what I love about Pipeline is you can treat you can treat hardware like plugins. Yeah. You can say I want to use my 1176 even with uh, a, a preset, uh, and then you can you can load that up and away you go. So, so yeah. So and you can say I want this 1176 out of one and into three or whatever it is, and it works it out. And you load the preset, and you get a picture of the actual yeah, you units. Get, and you, you can get your hardware settings all figured out. You can out just again. match it. And actually, with the Pipeline XT, you can change the color of Pipeline XT as well. So nice. You just hit the persona sign, and it will change colors, so you can start to organize your stuff with that. But um, yeah. So that's Prisonus Quantum 4848. It's available. Now I think, um, and I said fifteen hundred, so it is fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, it's streeting at that, or is that the retail price? A, I can't one hundred percent confirm, but it's, yeah. so it's around fifteen hundred. But at the time this is going out, it might be a little different. Yeah, I think we will probably take this back to that studio in Nuri to, to Patrick's place. I think so. Plug it into his SSL. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, probably never get it back. Yeah, <laughs> that could be a risk, all right? Yeah. Now Nam's coming. Will people see this at the stand at Nam? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have uh, these, and we'll have the other quantums, and we also have some new. That will, I'll um, beep it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, please. <laughs> and did I see a cool video with this? There's a there's a band analog recording of a band in in the states, wasn't there? That, that I think was was doing the rounds when this first got announced. Uh, yeah, I mean we've got a promo video as well. Shows a band. Yeah, that's with, the one I'm uh, thinking yeah, of. Yeah, 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 doing the live thing and everyone's just cool. using this kind of in real time, particularly with pipeline and stuff like that. It's all analog. Uh, everyone's just monitoring with the low latency as well. Everyone's just like locked into this unit as. As if nothing's happening digitally, you know, it's it really ties yeah. the world together with analog and digital really fast. So I'm, it's, this really does feel like pre sellers are putting a stake in the ground and say, "Listen, we're here for the pro as much as we are for anybody <laughs> else." Is, would that be a, would that be a good assumption? Um, yeah, I mean, those two worlds are crossing over so much now. Exactly, you know, all of this equipment is available to you know beginner or pro. Um, what I mean by that though is there are studios out there like the one we're talking about that's got pro, it's got it's got like a, a real a big desk with with DB twenty fives on the back yeah, and a yeah. patch bay. And they want something like this. So is that to kind of to respond to that kind of stuff? Uh, absolutely. And also, you know, you're not taking up a whole rack of I'm guessing live as well. In yeah. big live recordings, you could this would be perfect to well, take on the road. Yeah, and I'm, we've got a, a really big uh, artist starting to use this now for their keyboard setup. So you'll see a bit more about that over the next couple of months. But there's a massive uh, tour happening soon and one of the guys is using this on stage actually to run his entire keyboard setup so I did not know Richard Clayderman had a tour this year no, that, that's, sorry, no that's not the one <laughs> it's not <laughs> okay. anyway uh, on that yeah. bombshell thanks Lee <laughs> alright thanks Russ cheers guys